Hi everyone. Welcome to the Altium Develop series. So today we will discuss how to create a version schematics and PCB layouts, creating a milestone with tasks and sending the design for the review and updating the bomb files. So let's get started. So you can either go into the uh, Altium Designer software and can create the project or you can click on the open project option or you can open your projects available in your workspace or either you can use the create option to create new project or uh, the second option is to go to the workspace and open any project from there here is the schematics and the project folder is over here let's open the pcb and open the 3d view and here is your the 3d view of your pcb previously we have seen whatever the changes made in the pcb in your altium designer that is reflected into your workspace so now we will see the changes made in the schematics also reflects back to the workspace so i have deleted this diode and added a wire over here and i will save now and will save to the server as well it's changing the things click on ok and it is pushing the changes to the workspace let's open it so you can see the tvs d1 did not remove yet because it is generating new visualization so let's wait for a while it will be updated uh ah it's updated so refresh it now you can see it's loading and open the production circuit and tv tvs d1 is deleted so in this way they are all synced so we will do it once more now we will delete the tvs diode t2 as well so let's delete this one and add a jumper over here Basically, I short circuit this, but it's not allowed in the circuits to short circuit the, uh, the wires directly. But it's just for the example case. So now make the changes and click on OK button, pushing the changes to the workspace. And let's see. Uh, let's wait. And it is pushing the changes. And now open the workspace. Reload it's updated as in the Altium designer software you can see so i have again undo the changes and saving the changes to the server click on ok again and it is saved pushing the things pushing the changes and it's updated in the workspace as well I did this because it's not allowed to short circuit the wires directly. I added the diodes again. It's generating a now move towards the task option and familiarize ourselves with the task. What we can do here, you can add your milestones or task. Let's delete this one and add the first one and it's loading. You can add the name of your milestone or the task, whatever. Let's say my milestone is milestone one uh, with the name the PCB rev one should be done or completed. So you can assign the status. You can assign the assignee who, who, who is you the person will do this task and you can set the priority level as well you can add the multiple assignee over here so i this task is added you can see on the left side in the to do task the milestone one the, with the name the pcb rev one should be completed with the priority level of high is added you can add multiple milestones or tasks here to manage your project or you for the updates what is updated in the task and what is left the last let's go to the assembly assistant and here you can see your bomb on the 3d view 
there are total 34 components on the top side and 20 components on the bottom side so you can see on the left side the names designator and the quantity of your uh, components so when you click on a specific component it highlights that component and here you can see let's click on the 0.5 amps fuse and it highlights that fuse so in this way it highlights them the other way is go to the design and go to the bomb option here and you can see the bomb manage here so you can go to the altium designer here and can again make changes in your bomb and can see the bomb is updated the bomb will be updated in the workspace so i'm going to the esp32 standalone chip and we'll go to the we'll add the part number option let's add click on add button and then go to the parameters add the parameter with the name part number and uh, on the right side add that part number esp32 w rom 32d and it it will save it in the description so let's close this one uh, yes we'll close it and open the project and save it to the server so the changes should be reflected and it is saving the changes i have made changes in the mcu sheet and it is pushing into the workspace and in the coming videos we will discuss how to update the bomb efficiently so for more videos follow us